back on his feet. He'll be on the stage later tonight. Brock Neal is a motivational speaker and a board member for the Barwis Methods First Step Foundation. How are you doing? I'm doing amazing. It's an honor to meet you. Okay. Great to meet you. Wow. You must think often about how you were able to survive. Why do you think God kept you around? At, at first, it was a big question in my head, wondering why I was still here and, and what my purpose was going to be. And I, I think God's revealed that to me in a lot of ways. And it's uh, been an incredible journey. Why, why do you think so? What, what, what do you give others from this unbelievable nine-year journey? I, I'm, I'm asked a lot to come and speak to groups, and uh, I, I never really wanted to get out in front of people, and uh, I think uh, really that was my purpose, really to spread the hope that God gave me, that 1% that chance that, that, uh, that I had um, in overcoming that. Um, I've been able to share that with so many people, and it's been such an enriching experience, and including uh, my position um, with the First Step Foundation and giving people the same opportunity I had to, to to fight and to overcome their injury. To fight and hold on to hope. That's, that's what I hear you saying, right? Right. Yeah. Have you met Donald Trump? I've not. I've, uh, I've been able to meet a bunch of incredible people that I did not expect to meet two weeks ago. Uh, two weeks ago was the first time I had any idea about any of this. Yeah. So what do you think now? I mean, it's there's a lot of action here, isn't there? Yeah. Right. Yes, this is my first uh, GOP convention, and uh, it's it's just overwhelming, amazing. Yeah, your message tonight will center around what? Sort of the similar things that we've talked about. Um, Correct. How do you hope people receive it? Do you think, Bob? I I really I just hope uh, with the volatile political season that we've been in, you know, I really hope this is a moment that you know we move past that and really look at. Uh, you know, just the American voting experience and getting people out there to, you know, voice their opinion because I, I really care so much about in this great country and the future of it. Can I ask you whether or not you vote for Donald Trump? Yeah, sure you can. Will you? Uh, I have been a long time uh, Republican, and, you know, as this, like I said, as the season's gone along, it's, it's yeah. been absolutely crazy. It's captured but, yeah. your imagination, hasn't it? It you're, has. You're, you're not alone because millions are tuning in for <laughs> yeah. But yes, I I, uh, I do hope to meet Donald Trump, but uh, he does have my vote. What would you like to tell him? Um, well, there's a lot I'd like to share with him, but I really am excited for what he can he can bring to the table as a as a businessman. And I work for a family business back home, so we sell concrete, and I think he um, really will do a great job of of you know helping our government do the same kinds of things that small businesses have to do every day. I well, hope you get your opportunity, okay? Where's home, by the way, now? Washington, Ohio. Was and how far is that from here? Uh, it was a two and a half hour drive. Okay, all right, so, so you're a Buckeye. I live in Ohio. And, and you're yeah. at home. <laughs> I, I consider myself a Wolverine, though. Out of Michigan, I know. Right? Go blue. Yes. You must have an incredible family and some amazing friends in your life. I, well, and that's one of the great things that I've had is just support from Ohio, from Michigan, and really all over the world, and uh, it's something I would trade for anything, and something I thank God for because uh, we w me. we want our viewers to know First Step Foundation. Visit barwismethods.com, and that's the website for uh, for more information. I really appreciate we'll that. See you tonight, okay? Honor to meet you. Thanks, brother. Fantastic. What a great story. So tonight.